Look at that storage. Yeah. Little guy Max, he is giving you the Max for a little guy. Welcome to Odometer Dave, where we help make every mile count with tips and how-tos for RVing and road tripping. Today I'm sitting in a Little Guy Max RR, or Rough Rider. We've been thinking about uh, getting a New Camp Tab 400, but after looking at the Little Guy Max, we're starting to think maybe we should be looking at a Little Guy Max. From the outside, it's easy to confuse the Tab 400 and the Little Guy Max, but the Little Guy is almost three feet longer. The 4,200 pound gross weight means we can tow it with our Jeep, and we love the teardrop design. The optional Rough Rider package raises the axle two and a half inches and adds off-road tires, and the electric jack is another option. There's just something about it. Before we go in, let's jump to the back and check out the 30 cubic feet of pass-through storage. This storage alone just blows the Tab 400 away. Here on the side, you'll find speakers, a cable hookup and electric outlets including USB, and a TV mount. Above the door is the optional 6 foot 3 wide awning, and there's a retractable step down below. Window shade in the door, and a screen up here, and it's a tilt out. I see, I was window. wondering. Oh, that's nice. There's also a full height retractable screen, and we'd probably use a sheet of plexiglass to keep the dog from bursting through it. Inside is where you really feel the extra size of the Little Guy Max. And for reference, here's a super quick look inside the Tab 400. Same basic floor plan, but two completely different interpretations. And now back to the Little Guy. I'm really torn between these trailers. Boy, I don't know. I, I mean, the cabinetry is not as nice. The, some of the finishes are not as nice. <laughs> this is just a really unfortunate choice. By the way, this paneling looks a lot better on camera. It's so much more space than the 400. Yeah. And MT pointed out that the spaces feel more separated. Well, just thinking about one of us still sleeping, the other one up and wanting to do something or wanting to stay up. You can be back, the other person can be back in that bed, and it, it just feels like another physical... I, I don't feel like I'm walking all over you, or vice versa. Yeah. I feel like I can have, we can each have a little more privacy. We could even, if we got really fancy, probably do... Um, I don't know how you feel about customizing. I love but, customizing. You know, I could see just having some little simple something right there uh -huh. that, where you could really just a curtain to yeah, just a little curtain so you could nap back there or... this bed feels really roomy hanging storage right there i mean i do think about things like you come in you've got your shoes you've got your jacket just like really practical where do you put those in the 400 in a drawer and then there's this pantry storage over here so right so you don't you're not using any of that for pantry storage. That is deep, deep, deep. Um, I mean, that's probably a lot of clothes and stuff. And this is maybe your pantry. There's you a pull out. And still more storage up yeah. here. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even seeing this as kitchen storage. I think this is all clothing, honestly. Because where else are you going to put clothes? Well, you got this. So this is probably, sh I don't know, shoes? dog stuff. It's a big drawer. Yeah. And of course, your bed is already set up. You're not messing with that. You know, you can have cushions and stuff. And Yeah, and the you... TV is back there. Yeah, so you can sort of have a couch. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think. If you've been craving a Tab 400 like we have, would you also consider a Little Guy Max? At the moment, I like the Little Guy Max more. And in the bed area, there's these little cubbies with an those outlet. Nice. Interesting, those aren't USB, they're just 120. But you could swap that out yeah. probably. There's just USB over here. And I know you don't like this finish as much, but I mean, I think it looks... Uh, yeah, I think this looks nice. Mm -hmm. It's a little Home Depot-y feel with the cabinetry. But it's not like the beigey ones. Right, right. There's this guy up here. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of space right here. This guy comes out of the sink. 
nice deep sink. Actually nicer, I think, than the 400. Stainless steel. It's bigger, deeper. It's bigger, deeper. This Dometic stove, two burners. I don't want more than two burners, so that's great for me. And, and this, that, I, I assumed that it would be a false door, but you, you have a full drawer there, even with the, the um, stove being right there. Yeah, and then another big drawer. Yep. Again, like you're not going to use, even though this is in the kitchen, there's so much more than kitchen storage that you're getting right here. And then this is full storage under there. Yeah. This um, can't, this has got to be a false. I think it might be a tilt. Yeah. Tilty, excellent. More storage in here. Wow. Yeah, that's just. So the fridge is a three way shore power, 12 volt, or gas. Good size, but three ways it can be finicky. And solar charge controller. Um, this has a vented furnace, so there are vents here. And I think there's another one around here. So it's not going to be as quiet as the radiant heat. Right, the all right. Um, and then it has the ceiling air conditioner. We both work from home, so we're also interested in an RV that lets us work on the road. And the table in the Little Guy Max is much bigger than the Tab 400s, which means two laptops could easily be used back to back and still leave room for other things. Also, the Little Guy's table isn't fixed in place like the Tab's, so it's easy to move around. At the same time, though, the frame and the mechanics are really clunky. Right, I'm talking about the table itself. There are cubbies everywhere in the little guy. That's great. Put games up there, including oh, hidden spots behind the seats. Like Matt, look at that storage. Yeah. Little guy Max, he is giving you the Max for a little guy. Like so much storage. There are more cubbies and a shelf above the dinette, and similar cubbies over the bed at the back of the trailer. These cubbies under the TV are perfect for books and phones. There's more storage under the dinette seats. And I think the little guy has more coax ports than any trailer I've looked at. There's another one there. This storage under the other seat is huge, and it opens toward the entry door, so it's good for outdoor stuff and shoes. Across from that are controls for the water heater and pump, along with lighting controls, more power outlets, and the Jensen stereo with HDMI and Bluetooth. Oh, and the cute lights, too. I think this might not have power. Yeah. So you like this better at the moment than the 400. Let's talk about the bathroom. I don't want to talk about the bathroom, because that will make me not like it again. <laughs> We took a close look at the Little Guy Max's wet bath in a previous video, which is linked up above and down in the description. The main things we didn't like about it were the lack of privacy and the lack of a sink. But we did like the large size. We came away really impressed by the Little Guy Max. We love the amazing storage, the excellent layout, the amount of workspace at that table, and the simple fact that it's 2,000 pounds under our Jeep's towing capacity, about 300 pounds heavier than the Tab 400. On the flip side, we really wish the wet bath had a sink and more privacy, that the cabinetry and the styling were more modern, and that it had the Tab 400's quiet hydronic heating system. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. It really means a lot to us. Subscribe if you haven't already, and share it with a friend. They might love it too. Take care.